Right, somebody in the comments section of one of my videos asked for me to do a very quick overview of the PX4 Flow optical unit and how to install it. Um, so that's what I'm going to do. So here we have here we have the aircraft. I'm going to turn it upside down. So here it is upside down and we've got the PX4 flow unit right here. So let's see what is happening here. So first of all, um, this is connected via the I2C port, so that's the I2C and this connects um, to the I2C uh, port of the flat controller. Um, I'm using the uh, Pixhawk cube, but the other um, other flight controllers will, generally speaking, have I2C um, ports on them. Now, uh, a lot of people skip over this part, and this is actually important. Um, so you've got the PX4 flow unit right here. The first thing you should do, uh, this is a, a, a micro USB plug, and it's this is micro USB on this end and on the other end it's just a box standard USB so you, what you should do when you first get the unit is you plug this micro USB into into there All right now when you do that this thing is going to light up you're going to get lights on etc now when you do that uh, you've got to focus this lens and the way that you can do that is you basically unscrew um, you, you can actually unscrew this lens and you can vary its uh, focal length and you want to focus it at around um, probably around between one and a half and two meters um, so that's between what between six and eight feet between six and eight feet is good now, when you connect the micro USB cable in here, this will light up. And then we go to our compute computer. I'm using Mission Planner here, but <clears throat> I think you can use other ground control software. And once you switch that on, you will do uh, you'll do connect. Um, you're going to connect it to one of the comms, the com ports, and I can't remember which one it was, um, but you can buy, uh, sorry, you can download a driver which enables you to install, which enables you to basically connect to the PX4 flow unit. You can download that driver. Um, once you hit the connect button, um, if you then go to initial setup, um, there'll be an option where you can focus, you can manually focus the uh, PX4 flow unit. So basically, you'll You'll be moving the PX4 flow unit around. You focus it on a spot, and you try and um, alter the, uh, the the length of the lens. You do that until it's got reasonable focus at around 1.5 to 2 meters. Then you screw the lens in place. After you've, sc you've screwed that, you disconnect the micro USB port out from there and your PX4 flow unit is now ready to be installed. You install that, connect it to the I2C uh, port, and then switch on the copter. Um, so now, we've got the copter upright again. I'm now going to power this up using the micro USB port. Okay, now that's plugged in. The flight controller is firing up. Now it's not connected to the battery. You you can use the battery to power it, but I prefer using the micro USB controller. So once you've done that, we go back to the computer and then you connect whatever it is that you're connecting. Uh then it's the optional. You've got the PX4 flow. Right. Um, 
Now, if you were, if I were to connect up, uh, this is going back to the previous step. If I were to connect up the micro USB wire straight into the PX4 Flow, there would be actually a camera that appears here, and it's like I think it's called focus mode or something like that. Oh yeah, here it is, focus mode, and there's a camera that appears here. Basically, you can actually see what the camera is seeing of the PX4 Flow, so that enables you to um, change the lens length. So here are now the settings that I'm going to be using for the PX4 Flow. Okay. Initially, what I would suggest you do is that you don't use a GPS. I would suggest that you disconnect the GPS completely from your flight controller. So that way, any uh, positional hole system that, that is going to be used is going to come from the optical flow unit. So in the first instance, you can disconnect the GPS, take it out, disconnect it from there, take it out. Um, so now you're going to be relying completely on the optical flow unit. You can also, where it says here, AHRS GPS use, you can put zero there, so that way it's not going to be using that. Let me see what other settings there are. Okay, so after you've done that, you've now got to set up your flow controller. These are the settings I've got, so you can make a note of that. So first of all, the flow address, um, I just leave it at zero, it seems to work fine. Flow enable, of course you'd have that at one. The FX scaler and FY scaler, we'll deal with that later on. The flow orient, you'll leave that as default, that's uh, 180 degrees. Ah, okay, right, this is another thing I forgot to go over. Okay, let's quickly go over this. Right. At the back of here, so this is my, this is the PX4 flow here. Now, normally, X means horizontal, Y means this way, um, vertical. Okay, so X axes, Y axes. With the uh, PX4 flow, it's reverse. So where it says X, treat that as Y. Where it says Y, treat that as X. I know that sounds crazy, but that's how they want it. So when you install it, you're, you're going to be installing it. What I've done is, looking at it from, from uh, the, the, the top, um, it's shaped like that, okay, like a rectangle. And I've installed it in a rectangular fashion. What I would suggest you do is when you install it, install it this way so that it's horizontal, right, as opposed to installing it this way. Okay, the way that I've installed it is horizontal. This is the front of the aircraft, this is the back of the aircraft, and the x-axis uh, should point forward. If it points forward like that, the x-axis on this points forward, then um, on the uh, mission planner you put down zero as your orientation. In my case, what I've done is I had to turn twist this around. I had to turn this around by 180 degrees. So the x-axis is now pointing that way. Right? It's pointing that way. When I did that, I had to also put down 18,000 yaw. Right, so getting back to this, we've got this, this is the important one that we're talking about. So remember, if you, put, if you point the X arrow on the PX4 flow unit forward, this will be zero. If you point the X arrow on the PX4 flow unit pointing backwards, it will be 18,000, which is what I've got. Then you've got these two. Pos X, pos Y. Um, this is very simple. This is the back, this is the front. What we have here is the x-axis. Uh, you will measure from, from the center to this. That's your x value. And the y coordinate will be, from again, from the center to wherever the 
px4 flow unit is. So in my case, it'll be, I think, a bit minus, in fact. It'll be minus. I've got it slightly incorrectly set up. But so the x-axis for me is from here to here. And that's, I think it's seven centimeters, I think I measured it, something like that. And the y is maybe minus, minus one, minus, probably minus one, but I've left it at zero. Okay, so the, here we have it. So this will be, this is measured in meters, so it's 0 0.07, that's seven centimeters. Um, oh, right, the other thing is, remember the, the uh, PX4 flow measure, this is reversed, so this is really Y and this is actually X. This is the horizontal, okay, this is the horizontal uh, measurement, and we've put 7 centimetres, and this is the, the vertical measurement, and we've put 0. I should put minus 0 0.01, but it doesn't really make much difference. Now, I'm going to leave these two alone. I'm not going to do anything with these two just yet. Um, so that's your setup. The other thing is, I forgot, is flight mode. So what I do is, is so I have three modes on my uh, system, and that's stabilize, alt hold, and pause hold. And pause hold is the one that's going to be using your PX4 flow unit. Okay, so use pause hold. So during your flight test, you're going to be switching between stabilize or alt hold. Uh, I, I would use alt hold. Switch between alt hold and uh, and pause hold. These are the two um, settings that you're going to be using. Right. So once you've sorted that out, you save. You then take the aircraft up in the air. Right. So what will happen is your aircraft it will go up in the air. Okay. Keep it in alt hold. And then once it's hovered and it looks like it's steady, then hit pause hold. Once it goes to pause hold, it'll either hold in that area or it will start doing this. Or that. Or this. Or this. If the settings that you've created are wrong, it will always do one of those th things. It will never just hold in one place. It just won't do that. Um, the other thing is it needs good light to work, so make sure you have good lighting. Do it broad daylight is fine. You do it in the dark, this won't work unless you're using a lighting system, which no one else seems to use except for me. So remember this. What you're aiming for is when you go from alt hold to pause hold, you want it to hold steady, and just keep it there for a good 10 minutes or so. Let's see what happens. If it does this, or that, or this, or that, then you know that things are going wrong. After you've had your flight test, and hopefully, hopefully things are going to work, you don't need to mess around with any of these settings. But if they don't, then, right, then what you can do is you can mess around with these two figures here. Okay, these are the ones that you're going to be playing around with. To make sure that the aircraft, uh, sorry, to make sure that the PX4 flow unit is correctly working. Right, go to status. So that's here. Status. And what you're looking for is this. Opt underscore M underscore X. Opt underscore M underscore Y. These are the values that you're looking at. And what you're looking for is constant changes. If you see this, that the value is constantly changing. You see that? This means that your PX4 flow unit is working and it's visually seeing what it needs to see. If this is stuck on zero or a particular number, then it's not working. And this will be done before you do your flight test, and you're making sure that everything is working. Now, now I did say that these two settings here are the big ones, these green ones. So if your um, if your aircraft is going off in a in a weird direction, it's flying off in weird directions, then those are the ones that you've got to play around with. There is a full page that is dedicated to this, and. To be honest, I wasn't 
uh, you know, it, I, I really couldn't work out the graph system. It was just taking me too long, and I just did it by trial and error, by trying out different values, and then finally got it to work. Um, but this gives you a full idea of what you should be doing. And what I will do is I will post this link. Okay, the uh, earlier on in the video I said that there was a driver for the PX4 flow unit, and that is the link for the driver. So this is a very good uh, web page. And basically, if you want to, you can change the values of PX4. Uh, sorry, um, the flow underscore FX scalar, these two values, and you're going to use it so that your graph looks something like this. And you're going to use the black box for that. So the black box on my system, uh, sorry, data flash, I think that's what they call it. Okay, so this is my data flash. So basically you'll get, you'll get your uh, flash logs from here, um, you'll download, um, once you've downloaded uh, those logs, um, then you can do uh, review a log, and then you can actually display um, something like this. Once you've done something like that, then you can specifically target uh, the figures here. Okay, so anyway, I'm not going to say anything more. Um, that was a very brief way in which you set up your PX4 flow unit.